Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are back uh, on the topic of uh, critical log 4j vulnerability so if you remember or if you have watched my videos two days before I have created a video on this uh, same log 4j vulnerability which was more related to the Splunk uh, application like how this vulnerability is impacting Splunk and we also spoke about a little bit of what this vulnerability is if you have not seen that video no worries this topic is uh, more about a different uh, thing so it's not related to Splunk so here we are going to talk about this Apache log 4j vulnerability on docker and docker images so whether docker is vulnerable or, or, or docker images are vulnerable because of this uh, log 4j vulnerability so that's what we are going to talk about it's in this tutorial so you know uh, as you know like uh, log 4j is a very hot topic now everybody is talking about that everybody is trying to get that fixed so uh, one of another topic uh, you know or important update which came uh, as part of uh, this vulnerability is like till uh, yesterday we were talking like you know we can upgrade the version for log 4j to 2.15.0 or greater than that uh, which will uh, fix the uh, all the vulnerabilities so basically the vulnerability was uh, uh, shown or determined from 2.0 to 2.14 dot some versions and if you upgrade to 2.15 uh, that vulnerability should be fixed that's what uh, it was told but now today's you know there is an update uh, on this vulnerability that 2.15 is an incomplete you know uh, solution it's not giving you know the complete uh, solution because of certain uh, you know configurations and all those things so what it is telling like uh, an additional issue is identified uh, in 2.15 so for more com complete fix to this vulnerability it is recommended to update to 2.16 so somebody who has uh, updated to 2.15 uh, yesterday or day before yesterday because this, this vulnerability was uh, uh, rec a report on 10th uh, I believe so we had few days now so if you are in 2.15 it's not a complete fix you have to upgrade it to 2.16 so that's an update uh, latest update we got it today uh, so that's also I wanted to share so let's get started on this topic let's discuss more about what is this uh, vulnerability a little bit and uh, talk about whether these docker images are vulnerable as well Okay, great. So if you have uh, uh, no, uh, not seen my previous tu tutorial, I just want to recap a little bit what is this log4j uh, software vulnerability. So what uh, we found is like uh, a couple of days before, uh, there is a big vulnerability which is uh, detected in this log4j library. So it's a bug, you know, they have found out which will allow these attackers to execute these codes on any system that uses this log4j. Log4j is basically, you know, something uh, Java based, uh, you know, uh, writing the logs. So this allows these hackers to access these computers so they can full get the full control of that. So that's what the overall concept of this vulnerability. And uh, you know, as I said, maj maj the major all tech companies or the big, big companies are running now to fix this software, vul you know, uh, vulnerability. And uh, some of example like Apple, uh, Twitter, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, uh, uh, you know these companies are running on this so you can uh, read through that so I'm not going to talk about uh, much about uh, what is the vulnerabilities just wanted to give you a small information what is this so as I said log4j is a library and it's mainly used on this Java applications and uh, why because it's the easiest way to you know log this data for Java applications so most of all applications uses this so that is where this vulnerability is very critical and uh, I think everybody uh, the, the priority of it is very high so that everybody is trying to get it fixed uh, as quick as possible okay so now let's get into the docker point of view about this vulnerability so before I get into that I would request you like if you are new to my channel or if you have not subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button also like my videos and also provide your feedback in the comment section and also share uh, these videos with others okay let's get started on this uh, docker vulnerability so as i said uh, this is a blog post uh, about this vulnerability from docker itself so it's getting updated uh, regularly so the latest update is on uh, 13th of december and you can see what we discussed about like you know the version 2.15 is is an incomplete uh, solution so there is an uh, additional uh, 
vulnerabilities or issues are identified which is uh, tracked under a different vulnerability number and you need to have a complete fix for this vulnerability you need to upgrade it to 2.16 so uh, the, it's give you the complete information you can read through this I will give this uh, blog post on the video description so you can have a read uh, through this so now you can see like even minecraft servers and all those things are also impacted because of this uh, so that's what I said big companies like uh, minecraft apple twitter and a lot of other companies are also working so now the point coming to docker is uh, is docker vulnerable so that's the point here so one thing which you need to uh, understand is like uh, you know you need you have an option you know uh, to do a scan uh, of your uh, docker images so for using that you need to have uh, docker desktop 4.3.1 plus so i think the some previous version it's not working and you know you need to install the latest version uh, 3.1 uh, above or more than that so it will be having this docker scan option so using that you can do some scan of your docker images if you are using linux docker you need to download this binary and you also have uh, the instruction how to set up so for example if i go to uh, how to install and if you go to this uh, windows uh, and linux so if for linux machine you can uh, follow this instruction how to install this docker scan library into your uh, docker plugins so once you install it you can use that docker scan for linux uh, you know for uh, scanning your docker images for example if you want to scan elasticsearch log stats you can use docker scan and the image uh, repository name so you can it will scan and it will give you the output so uh, you know, uh, the other option is like you can uh, grab specifically for the code execution so you know it will tell you like you know like something like this it's a critical severity so something if you, they have found it will tell you something like this so uh, that's the one way to do it so docker hub also like uh, from the docker hub perspective they are also scanning all the images from the their end and you know you can also do the scan using docker scan of your images okay and the basic mitigation process is like if you are having a containers application uh, you need to change the log4j in that uh, images uh, or using you know when if you are using a docker file to build your docker image you need to put some you know uh, these values java environment variables in the you know your application so that it can uh, fix uh, this vulnerability so you like you can add the docker file you can add this uh, flag uh, like you know you can run it in the cmd value or if it's you're using like uh, some yeah, configuration yaml files you can update it like environment variable here uh, so it's just given complete details like docker compose you can use the environment uh, variable like this and uh, basically that's how you fix th through a docker image or docker file so that when you build that vulnerability is fixed now uh, considering the existing image which is already available in docker hub so they also mentioned like they have done some scanning and also there are a number of docker images which do contain these vulnerabilities and uh, they are working on it for example like uh, couch page elastic search flink you know log stash neo4j sonar cube storm xwiki so all these images have these vulnerabilities and they are working on to have this uh, fixed so once the fixes the fixed images are there uh, they will be uploading into the uh, docker hub till that point if you are using these images you have to find the, the solution using any of this method in the docker uh, images uh, or containers then you'll have to apply those fixes otherwise you know you will have a vulnerable uh, docker images which you are using and you know uh, other thing is like regarding the direct question what we asked like whether docker infrastructure is affected uh, it's not because you know docker hub and docker hub uh, docker de desktop and docker hub are not affected uh, by the vulnerability so docker uh, largely uses go code uh, and not java although we do use some java application internally we have confirmed that we are not vulnerable to uh, cve to 21442228 so this number is actually coming from this uh, national vulnerability database you can see the cv dictionary entry right so every vulnerability they will give a number so this is the number for this log 4j a vulnerability so you can read through this like what is the complete details about what this vulnerability i will give that also into the video description so basically for docker you know as per the infrastructure it's not vulnerable but there are images which are vulnerable and also if your own image have some vulnerability you need to follow these uh, 
uh, environmental setups or also you can have this uh, you know, uh, docker compose files and all those things changed so that these um, you know vulnerabilities can be fixed or you can update the log4j directly into the latest version uh, uh, which should be 2.16 dot more uh, oh can be not the 2.15 because it ha also have some kind of issues they identified so that's all i wanted to share you know this is basically for docker side uh, so if you are using any of the docker images or if you want uh, if you want to check you can run the docker scan and you can find out whether your image is vulnerable and uh, take the necessary actions so that is all for this video i hope it's useful for you so kindly subscribe for more videos like this and also you know keep supporting me uh, by liking the video or giving uh, your thumbs up also share uh, you know uh, these videos with other people and also give your feedback on how do you like these videos what you like to see more in the upcoming tutorials so thank you for watching mm -hmm.